and Grand Rapids Public Schools say the COVID-19 surge is having an effect on the district. The district has reported nearly 500 cases since the school year began and doesn't see those numbers dropping anytime soon, especially given the rising positivity rates countywide. 13 on your sides, Charlie Tinker joining us now from the control room with what we are learning. Charlie. Oh, Kirk, uh, with some experts now calling this Michigan's fourth wave, the district, of course, uh, keeping a close eye on the situation and launching a new effort to try to curb that trend. The hospitals are sounding the alarm bells right now. Like many school districts, it's been a challenge. In an email update to parents, the district outlined a worsening picture on the ground, forced to close several buildings since the beginning of the school year just a few short months ago. In that same time frame, 355 students and 98 staff members have tested positive. We are in the dark red highest risk category across the board right now. So, And, and right now, we don't anticipate those numbers changing. It, it doesn't surprise Grand Rapids Education Association President Mary Bowen said she was increasingly concerned about the writing on the wall, telling me staffing challenges have made the day-to-day -day feel more like a juggling act gone wrong. Our teachers are struggling. They are trying so hard to do what's right for kids, and the workload is unbelievable. Setting the stage, says Bowen, for a number of what she sees as safety issues. Some of our rooms are, I would say, very large numbers students um, in a class space that doesn't accommodate that many people. There's going to be a lot of really close contact. The numbers based on our size are, are about as good as we think they can be, which I think demonstrates the effectiveness of our mitigation measures. If there are areas where uh, these mitigation measures are not being implemented, they need to report that. The district plans to launch a series of vaccine clinics for the newly approved pediatric age group inside individual schools staggered between next week and winter break. And the goal was to have a 70% vaccination rate. Uh, and, and certainly in this case, this would help the state of Michigan and Kent County get a little bit closer to that. Well, the number of student cases, by the way, closer to 330 and not 350. I am told those clinics will be coordinated with the help of Cherry Health. They're also going to be staggered. They'll likely happen inside the designated health offices of individual schools. And I should note, it is not mandatory. Those pediatric doses cannot be given without a parent's consent. So signature required. The district will be sending out those forms if interested.